people are offering them because now we be supposed for God lay on them. I've been like the son of this soil. And I went there with I say, I know be a king, I know you discriminate to my work. I be be mayor, you two be be mayor. In now, I've been a mayor. When smarter you two you will be mayor. Many, many big problems I say, we know the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. My name is Augustine Ambe. I want to spend some time with you talking about something that happened in Bermuda. You may have seen the videos floating around, but these videos, some of them come and don't say what is going on. You just see people talking and so. And so when I saw the video, I picked up my phone and I, and I, and I called someone in, 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 uh, in Bermuda and I asked them what's going on and uh, let me read what they told me. They said the mayor of Bamenda called a meeting with all the traders in Bamenda, especially those of the main market, and was trying to force them to come and open their shops on Mondays. You know the government is trying to do all to kill ghost towns. Now, as that man of the said, Bamenda man, be united. You know the name of party. I don't have a man competing. So, the mayor of Bamenda. As some of the other mayors in Ambazonia, colonial, colonial mayors are trying to stop ghost towns. And uh, this particular one in Bamenda was not having a good time because the people of Bamenda are not, uh, they, they're not pushovers. Bamenda is the epic center. Bamenda is the epic center of change in the whole of La Republica Cameroon, including Ambazonia. And these people come out most of the time, not because they, they enjoy coming out, but they come out in order to have concerns addressed. And somehow, these concerns are never addressed. And so their resistance has been has been remarkable, really. The resistance in Bermuda has been remarkable. And the arguments they put are arguments that are sound. They're not just protesting to make noise. No, they have points to make. And if, if the colonizer, the occupying force, the foreigners that come into Bamenda and the whole of Ambazonia, if they can listen, if they can listen, they actually can make Bamenda a place where Bamenda people find it home, and they, even as foreigners, can make it home for themselves. But these are people who come in either as, as foreigners themselves in in, the, in, in in terms of European colonial European colonialists or agents of European powers who are running La Republic of Cameroon and by extension Ambazonia right now. And since 2016, they have refused to obey any more colonial laws and the laws of representatives of colonialists. The laws or or the orders, the orders of of enablers, of enablers, of collaborators with the enemies of Ambazonia. And let's let's go to these mayors. You see, these mayors came into being through an elections which Ambazonians boycotted. And people who did not accept the boycott, Ambazonians know them and they've been handling them one at a time. They've been taking care of them through arrest, interrogation. I, I don't know what they do with them later, but I do know that they they, they, they know them and they follow them. My name is Naweti. Naweti Patu. Naweti bring you here. I did for Ambazonian camps because I violate Ambazonian uh, uh, territory law. You violate the law for Ambazonian? Yes. 
with the law in our and you violate our law. The law for voting, where they be said they be stop, say they will not go participate for elections. You power mm -hmm. no over talk. You vote na for whose side? I vote for public security in Mankon. Now, now how many did they? They be there about uh, uh, more than two hundred. So, so una, uh, now who come off the other side? Now, now how many come off go vote? We come out one for year, we are no, uh, two for year, we are known, then join one for town, we are known. For, for which place of town? For uh, old town. Okay. So, Pa? Yes. It is here, so Ambazonian law, Ambazonian government don't find you guilty. Ambazonian government don't find you guilty for violating the Ambazonian law because we don't deny the Republic government and we don't deny all that in them. So why you go, go meet up them for agreeing for two who don't deny and they will tell you say they will pay you how much? They will tell you they will pay 10,000. 10, so you go decide for sell the land because of 10,000 francs? Well, in an error where I come. And I plead for the Pa, yes. the Ambazonian land, the Ambazonian government don't find you guilty. So we know that these people who go and vote, first of all, are paid to do so so they're not really going to vote they're going to get money the second thing is that most of the most of them are elected by by colonial representative i mean the the man who was called is talking about councillors voting no they were so these are these are all these are this this, that's, this is not a free and fair election so elections did not take place so these people who who are running around playing mayors are not real mayors and they're having difficulties being mayors or being obeyed by the people. The people of Ambazonia do not tolerate enablers, and there are, there are many enablers. But let's stay with, with, with the mayors. So these mayors, because the people of Ambazonia boycotted the elections, La Republique du Cameroon, agents of France, went and picked their own people and imposed them on the people of Bamenda. And the people of Bamenda are refusing to obey them. The people of Bamenda are refusing to obey them. And, and they're not just refusing, they're letting them know why they are refusing. Listen to, um, but before you listen to the lady who, who makes the point very succinctly, Listen to this gentleman who is, who, who, is, um, who is telling the mayor, who is telling the mayor that he is not a mayor, including other mayors around the, the, the Bamenda area or the, 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 the Bamenda metro area, like in Bafut and Bali. He's telling them that they're not legitimate. And because they're not legitimate, they can't, even be, they can't even live in the areas where they claim to be mayors. Listen to him. Now, what does he the young one, the office, the man was small, got a good place, and the man gets a good place. The young one, the young one, all the way to the portrait of the internal hall, and the way to the portrait of the internal hall. Yes. The mayor in Bafut was never elected by the Bafu people. And so he cannot stay in Bafu. So he's hiding somewhere in Bermanda. And then and then when he comes to Bafu, he comes with a with a, with a convoy of uh, of 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 foreign troops. Well, foreign troops in armored cars and sneak around the place and pretend that he's a law, uh, he's a mayor. All all pretend. Same thing in Bali as my as as the as the as the, one of the speakers reported. So the mayor of Bafut is not in Bafut being mayor. The mayor of Bali is not in Bali being a mayor. They're hiding in places, obviously being paid, and they're nothing but swindlers, enablers, collaborators with the enemies in order to keep their people um, colonized uh, for over 100 years now, first by the Germans, the British, and now the French. And Bazonians have said, Enough is enough. If you hear the mayor, the mayor is saying, Oh, I'm the son of Mankon. 
No, you're the son of Mankon, but a traitor, a traitor to your people. You are obeying a foreign power and trying to, and they're using you to impose themselves on your people. So no, son of Mankon. And then another lie that the, the, that mayor said is that, oh, I'm a mayor today, and tomorrow you too can be mayor. No, no, not in not in not in the in the system that go, that is existing now. No, because the system now is a system where France owns La Republique to Cameroon and, and, and then sends La Republique to Cameroon to come and colonize, or the same as British, as, the same as the British uh, had Nigeria as their colony and sent Nigeria to come and govern Ambazonians. And so for over a hundred years, Ambazonians haven't governed themselves. Right now they want to do that. You are not joining them in the fight. You are joining the enemy. And they're using you to remain overlords over the people of Bamenda. And the people of Bamenda are saying no to that. So don't come. Don't come pretending that you're making some sound sense. You know, one of the things with with stories like that, you have to always begin the story from the beginning. Don't come and start talking as mayor. How did you become a mayor? That's where that story starts. And that's the problem you're having. So until that's solved, I want to thank my brother, my, my Bermuda people, for standing up and standing up strongly, standing up after, after La Republic has killed and killed and killed until right now they can't kill anymore. That's called staying power. And that staying power doesn't mean you start changing the conversation. And uh, you can see why Bamenda people are, are such a threat to the people of La Republic. Such a threat that after they, they so, such a threat that they, they go and create agents in in in, in the in the so called Southwest and and and, and 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 make blames on Bamenda people. No, Bamenda people are in Bamenda. And, this, and the people in the southwest are fighting their struggle. If you want to say the people of the southwest are Bamenda people, that's your saying. But the people that are fighters in the southwest know that they are fighting the enemy and they are southwesterners and you are not going to change that. The divide and rule is not working anymore. I want to thank our people for, the, for this brave fight. They can't be fooled. I want to say the thing where it make them for may you may you them for Cameroon or may you them for Northwest and Southwest they get problem. So Monday I will not know. So the thing where it make them drive when I for all when I office and become but I will be support for both may you them when I just when I show for the point of the What the Ambazonian people, what the people of Bamenda are fighting, is what the UN imposed on them. This is a result of the UN's actions. Because Ambazonia was supposed to either be independent or be self-governing. The UN, in collaboration with the, uh, with the British, concocted this uh, uh, scheme where the French came and took them. And right now, all if, if you listen to the mayor, the, if, you listen, if you were to listen to the mayor, he would be more exp he, he would, if the mayor were to speak the language that he prefers, it would be French. Because that's the, that's the language of the ruling class. That's the language of the colonizer. And so, and so there's a governor in Bamenda who lives in Bamenda. No, he doesn't live in Bamenda. He lives in Bafusam. And then sneaks in and sneaks out because he's afraid to live in Bamenda. I, I really like what the Ambazonians have done. They have made the place ungovernable. The colonial masters can live there. Those who are supposed to live in their in their in their in their in, their, in, in the constituencies where they are supposed to rule, they're not there. They're looking for safety in other hideouts and pretending. And at at some point, the pretending will end. But I love my Bamenda people. <laughs>